um, try my first attempt at making jalapeno jelly. We are running over with jalapenos in the garden, and I don't know what to do with them, and I recently went to a canning class, and um, they were making jalapeno jelly, um, just to demo it and stuff, so I um, decided to make some this year. Some, so um, I found, I got this cool blue book canning book from a friend this last Christmas, and there's a recipe in here for jalapeno jelly. And uh, of all things, of course, the recipe I pick is not for cup measurements. It's in pounds, weight measurement. So I had to go buy a scale <laughs> to weigh these. So it's three quarters of a pound of jalapeno peppers it asked for. And it says, it doesn't say they're stemmed or anything, so I am gonna weigh them whole. And we need three quarters of a pound. That's a little too much, so now I gotta find one to make it three quarters of a pound. Oh, no, that's taking too much out. Oh, 0.75 pounds, perfect. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is um, wash these all up and take the stems off and seed them with some gloves or else my face and anything I touch in my hands are gonna be burning. So um, that's the next process I'm gonna wash and stem seed. Actually turns out to be 0.76, but I suppose that'll be just fine. Oh well, look, if I moved it. She wins. <laughs> all right, so here comes the fun part of, I wash them all and rinse them, and now I am going to uh, cut the stems off, and now I gotta take all the seeds out. So, this is the time consuming part of canning, is all the prep work. Cause you know, I'm so experienced, I've done canning like twice. <laughs> Alright, so Papa Homestead came up with a good idea for taking the seeds out. I'm just using a spoon here to scrape them out. Kind of like when you take the seeds and stuff out of a pumpkin, all the guts out of it. It's a big scoop. And um, one of our big goals this year on the Homestead is to seed save so that we can explore next year more in our garden with buying different seeds for different crops. So I'm going to save all these seeds so that we can use them next year in our garden. I'll scoop all these guts out. Okay, so while I was getting all the jalapenos ready, uh, Papa was getting all the stuff ready to actually can. So we got our pressure canner here because we ha haven't had a chance to invest into a water bath canner. And we just got a lid that kind of fits so it boils and stuff. And we've got our... Um, Papa filled it up with water, and we've got our jars in there. They're getting sterilized, all cleaned up, so that we can put our jelly in there. Our yummy goodness. And then over here to the left, we got a uh, pot out for um, the actual sauce, the jelly, to cook it all in. And then behind the pressure canner, we have a pot going with all our lids to sterilize those. And that's where we're going to be grabbing everything. And we got all our um, canning tools out here as well. So we've got a jar grabber, because there's no way you're dipping your hand in there. So this gets out the, jar, the jars so we can fill them and then put them back in. We got a funnel that I found on sale because our dog chewed up our last one. So I got these on clearance at Freddy's for like $3. And then um, we've got our head space measurer to measure the head space in the um, jars once they're filled. And we got our magnetic uh, lid grabber to grab the lids out of the hot water. We've got our jalapenos already here in the food processor. <laughs> I lost my words for a second there. And I'm gonna add a cup of um, cider vinegar and then um, we'll get that all going. Then we'll put it into the pot and we'll show you the next cup. Okay, so I measured out my one cup of vinegar, of cider vinegar. Goes in there. Now I'll plug it in because that always helps. There we go. All right, so I got all the jalapenos pureed with the vinegar and now we're gonna put everything into the pot to get our mix going. So here's six cups of sugar, regular, regular granulated sugar. 
Uh, we have one cup, another cup of vinegar for a total of two cups of cider vinegar. And then here is our puree of jalapenos and one cup of cider vinegar. And um, you can also use the recipe as a blender. You just want to puree this up if you don't have a food processor. So, see how my goodness is going in. Nice emerald green color. Try to scrape all that in. I don't want to use any of it. Next, we're just going to get it up to a boil and add in the pectin and get it up to a boil after that. And then we'll be ready to go into the jars. Okay, so we did our waiting on medium-high heat for it to boil and it started boiling. So now we are to um, let it boil for 10 minutes, stirring constantly. So I set the timer and I'm stirring, getting my arm exercise in for today. Then we will stir in the liquid pectin, two pouches of it and um, return it to a boil and then let it boil for one minute and then it will be ready to process into jars. Alright, so I've been stirring for 10 minutes and my arms are killing me, but we are on the last minute. We just went for the timer to go off so we can stir in the pectin and then get it up to a boil again. So we're just waiting for that annoying timer bit to go off. There it is. Pour in two pouches of pectin. Hey. There we go. I had to have some, have some help with that because I can't stir in, cut a pack, and pour it in. I kind of need a buddy with canning. All right. What? So that stopped the boiling. Oh, the foam is gone too. So I'm just going to make sure it's nice and stirred in. Then I will let it come up to another boil and boil for one minute. So um, the sauce is done, the jelly, and so now we're going to get them in jars. So it's very hot. Very hot and boiling up. So get our jar grabber, pour out the water back into there. Set it here in the station. Put the funnel. All right, so here we go. I'm the jar grabber, put her in our outer. And pop up the little gun. Then we gotta. Oh, I also have to grab this with our lovely magnet getter. Have a little pop pop. And we need to measure the head space. So I think that's good there. Get the air bubbles out. Let's also get the air bubbles out. Then we wipe the top of the jar with paper towel or hand towel, whatever you want to use to clean it. We stick the lid on. And we get a band ring. Tighten and then tighten it and then one tight. And then put it back in. Did you look at the jar to see? See, it looks clear. It looks fine. Yeah. Put it back in here. And then we get another jar out. Empty it. And continue the process. Until they're all filled. One thing I did learn in my canning class is not to tip the jars once they have whatever you're canning in them. So it goes up. Out and back in. No tipping of the jars.
seven jars ready, just in case. Um, while he's filling the next ones, I'm going to rearrange this pot because if you had to get crowded in here, and since when you're putting when you're putting it back in, you don't want to tip the jars and stuff, I make some room with the empty ones. So it's a good thing we got seven jars ready because that's seven. All right, so we got all seven jars in there ready, waiting for it to boil, and then we'll let it boil for 10 minutes, and then we'll pull them out. Um, we had just a little bit of jelly left, so we're just going to let that cool, and we'll taste, see what it tastes like. Hopefully it's yummy. Here they are, coming out of the water. 10 minutes, we're up, and now we're getting them out. Awesome! Whoa. I already heard one pop after I pulled it out. Lovely sound. There we go. Our jalapeno jelly is done. We just gotta wait for it to cool and make sure it's all sealed and then we can store them. Um, I learned that uh, once they're, they've all popped, you let them sit here for 24 hours and then you take the bands off and you make sure that it's sealed and you're supposed to store them without the bands. Put the bands on if you are going to give them away as gifts. Um, stuff like that, but you do not store them with the bands because they can unseal and then reseal and you can get contaminants in their bacteria. That's it.